back to Aussie Scrapper. This is a layout that I did for the Challenge Your Stash YouTube pop that I am participating in this month. The challenge was to scrapbook a pet. I will be linking all the participants that are participating in this challenge in the description below. So please go and check out their channels and their take on this challenge. As soon as I saw this challenge, I knew that these were the photographs that I wanted to scrapbook. They are of my dog and my little girl. Now the hardest part about this challenge was actually picking the papers. As you can see there on the side, I had a stack of papers to choose from. And I pulled out a lot of pinks and browns because my little girl's wearing a, a pink jumper, so I wanted to reflect on that. And I wanted to pull in some browns because to me that sort of reflects on doggy layouts. But I didn't want the layout to be predominantly doggy, if you know what I mean. I wanted a balance of the doggy with the, the girly pinky colours. And I think I did achieve this in the end. But you can be the judge of that. So once I pulled out papers that I thought would match my photos, I then went and decided on which photos I wanted to scrap. I um, can't remember what it, oh yes, my little girl helps me there for a little bit. So I pulled out these die cuts that I had made on my silhouette a little while ago and I just kept them there in my stash, but I don't really end up using them because the layout takes a different turn to what I had envisioned in my head. And the surprising thing about this is that there is no mixed media, which is very strange for me. I love my mixed media, but this is very much a traditional scrapbook layout. And the photos as they are now, they pretty much stay that way. I just was going through my scraps of paper and I just pulled, ended up pulling out this the white cardstock and framing all these photos in sort of a rectangle shape that you will see in a minute because I stuck it all down with double sided tape, trimmed the photos down a bit just to make them a little bit better. You didn't want all that dead space. And yes, I don't think I show you um, me using all the double sided tape and just gluing it. I think I just miraculously it all appears and it's all being glued. Love the editing. One of the things I struggle with is trying to make my videos as short as possible. So there are the photos all matted and I do end up using that brown cardstock as the back and the pink one. Now this paper from Kaiser Craft I loved and for a minute there, I almost didn't use it because I loved all the cutter parts on the back. But then I thought, you know what, it's going to sit in my stash forever if I don't use it. So I just um, bit the bullet and stuck it down. It was just bang, plonk, don't think about it. And I love how that looks. I love the, the soft pink of that patterned paper that's on top of the brown cardstock. And this is from Kaiser Craft. It's one of their pet papers and I forget what it's called sorry I didn't even write it down is not that bad of me and uh, but it's it's a pretty new edition I think I only got that this year from spotlight I do end up using this and I can't remember what it says now it says time spent with your dog is never wasted from memory I'm pretty sure that's what it said Play around with these silhouette die cuts for quite a while and it's quite sad because they don't make it on the layout at all or the doggy print sort of does I bet I cut the arrows out and I want to match this photo on another piece of paper but I'm not sure quite how I'm going to do that I don't end up using those papers that are there they're a bit too flurry and then I see this saying that's on the Kaiser Craft pet paper and it does say, no one on earth will love you more, be more patient, or keep your secrets better than your dog. So I landed up cutting all that up into little pieces because I didn't want it as one great big chunky block like it was there. So there you see it all in pieces. And, oh, I can't even remember what I did. That wasn't that long ago. Oh, yes, this scrap of paper. I really like that wood grain paper that looks like bark from a tree I think that's really represents a dog to me for some reason so I do end up cutting that down trimming it and backing it all onto that pink cardstock that I backed my photos onto as well 
more pink. But like I said earlier, I did want to put the pink with the browns. And I did achieve that in the end, I think. Let me know what you think. Yes, I play around with this. There with those die cuts. I keep trying to make those die cuts work. And instead, back to the Kayser Craft uh, pet paper there. And I just cut out one of the strips and these little paws. Put them on either side. And then I use which, some wooden love hearts that I had. And they say love of them. And I think I pull out three of those and put them all on the top end there. And then just eventually glue them down with some, with some glue. And this is pretty much how the layout stays. It's just a bit of fussing with the embellishments, really. Oh, there are those love hearts that I spoke about. And as you know, I don't like all those white raw edges, so I just used a pink marker to go around them all on all four sides, sticking everything down. And I love these photos because this is very much my dog. He's always with the children. He was always looking after them, always protecting them. He was just like a big brother or even a parent sometimes. I couldn't have, I could not ask for a better dog. He is my son's best friend, my little girl's playmate and protector, more like a bodyguard for her than anything else. So yes, just there you saw me just blowing everything down. Can't imagine a childhood without a, without a pet. I also had a Labrador when I was growing up, so yeah, there you go, my kids also have a Labrador now. So yeah, I'm just gluing everything down. Maybe I should have edited a lot of this out. I don't know. It's really hard deciding how much to keep in and how much to edit out. But yes, just gluing down those love hearts. I must say, I'm really happy with how this layout did turn out in the end. And I'm just doing some fussy cutting here. I cut out all the letters of the word love. And I also cut out all the letters of the word patient. And all the letters of the word secrets. And then, because it's sort of a whitey pale colour, I go in with these paints that are the Semco paints from Spotlights, the cheap watercolour paints. And I quickly paint the paint. I paint the, the words all in that same colour. And then I go in with, these are also Semco, but these are glitter watercolour paints. And they give it a nice shine without it being too glittery, if that makes any sense. So yes, that's me just going through the whole process all over again on the word patient. And... Also on the word secrets, but I don't think you see the word secrets. And I also cut out of the word dog. I actually fuss, fussy cut all the letters out individually. So now I'm just going in and gluing all these little teeny bitty words down. I finally get to use my one of my little die cuts, this paw. And I just cut out the arrows from it and painted it quickly with those watercolour paints from Spotlight. And there it is. I plonked it down there, all glued, all finished. This is the layout. So I hope you enjoyed this layout. It was a really quick one for me and very unusual, no mixed media. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. So once again, thank you all for watching and till next time, I hope you're all well. Bye.